little sucker that little sucker ate and I guess he was so 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 who is hot who is hot <laughs> welcome to the growth family network and this is Amanda's garden you probably really can't see it anymore but you remember when Bev's came out here and planted the collard greens out because we wanted a little color and what happened was I'll show you is this is what's left of the collard greens and closer to you this is what's left it was just about to start rooting and running and we got attacked by I would say some crazy rabbits if you remember last year we had a rabbit problem right around this time too right around the fall when we started planting in the high tunnel back there uh, we actually got decimated by them and we actually ended up catching two of them last year almost in the act so this year I remember watching some uh, Hollis and Nancy from uh, Hollis and Nancy's homestead and I remember they put out a video about just deterring pests and they use like pepper and garlic so I'm not gonna I got pepper but I'm not gonna use it but what I am gonna use is I did go and get the pepper they suggested from the Asian supermarket and actually they grow these so I really would like to try to find some seeds for these and grow them myself it's different than regular cayenne pepper it looks a little bit different a little longer but this is it so we had to go out and this time because I don't want to transplants cost way higher than seeds I would just throw some seeds down but because I already planted some greens and I already planted the transplants I wanted to get them again and and kind of because that's what I wanted to do and another way is because I'm not gonna buy eight this time I only bought a four pack that way if the rabbits come and eat them tonight and this doesn't work then I won't feel like I've lost two four packs so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some of this and I'm gonna sprinkle it all over this after I plant them so that's what I'm gonna do right now and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna finish it up at the end of this video One thing I was actually noticing about buying transplants from the store is you have to check the back of your leaves. A lot of times what I'm, what I'm seeing now is some of the pests that are in our yard comes from these nurseries and you just have to be very careful. Um, when I picked these up, I had to go over the back of these leaves. They had like little white flies on them. They had aphids on them. Uh, I think I even had a, a little cabbage worm was on it so just be careful when you're buying from the nurseries make sure make sure you look at the back of your leaves especially the ones that might have little bitty holes in them look at the back of those leaves and get anything that's on them and many times at these nurseries you're gonna see these little white flies on them and things go ahead and get that off don't bring that to your house so I'm gonna water this in first because after after I put on the actual potion, I'm not gonna rinse it off. So I wanna water the plant in first and then next I'm going to apply this. Now this is a cool thing. This is a, like one of those snack jars that you actually buy at Walmart. And you can see I got this one on sale. And you actually can make a easy, let me take this top off. All I did was drill some holes in the top of that. And now, look at that. That's cool. Just made a cool little shaker. And I'm sure you can do this with your salt, with any kind of herb. And if you want, you can make bigger holes. I just made some little small holes, but you can figure what size holes you want to make if you have like herbs or things like that. So, oh, look at that ant then. Look at that ant. 
got a pepper. I guess they don't care. You see that? I wonder if y'all even see that. And he is running. Y'all probably can't see him. Let me see. Let's see if I can get close enough to him. Where is he? There he goes. Look. Look how fast. <laughs> That little sucker is moving. He's gone. He got some. Oh boy, I hope he don't feed that to his children. Cause that's some. Look, he got him one too. Well, maybe the ants like the peppers. I hope that the rabbit won't like the peppers as much as the ants. So let's go water this in one second. To get to work. And I'm really gonna drench them down. That way they come in. He comes around and around. Tell you what, he been eating Louisiana collards for a while, but he gonna try some Thai collards out. This is gonna be so spicy. He eat off of this tonight. It's definitely gonna knock some fur off of him. Um, and Bev, as I was pausing to actually do the watering, Bev's actually told us, if you remember when she was in the Philippines, this is that same pepper that her uncle was growing in. We actually do have some seeds, so, I didn't know she bought any and I didn't know that that was the same pepper and she said how spicy this pepper is. The good thing about being uh, watered is now it's sticking a little bit more to the plant. This one just probably going to be a little transplant shop. That thing didn't care. It just ate. So this one will probably be standing up in the morning. But that's it. So, that's one, two. Look how red that's looking. You gotta do what you gotta do. Three, four, I'm gonna get some more on this one. Now I did talk to Bells when I came home with this pepper after watching that Hollis and Nancy video over and over, making sure I had it right. Finding the exact same uh, <laughs> package. And then it cost $4.99. So I told, I say, people are probably gonna think it's crazy to go out and pay $4.99 to save a few little plants that you can buy for cheaper than $4.99 at the store, fully matured. But like I always tell you, it's something different about having your own food, growing your own food. It just tastes different than anything in the store. So this $4.99, Bev's can actually use this in cooking because she's, she's gonna like make some kimchi and I can use it on multiple plants. So it's not just uh, trying to save four or eight plants. It's really about what or how, how I can apply it in the garden and how many applications can I use it in. So just with the rabbits, maybe one, but I might find another application uh, to deter, I don't know, something on something else. So uh, thank y'all for watching this edition of the Grow Family Network. And as always, Spice them up. <laughs> grow, grow, grow. Peace. All right, so I'm coming out here early in the morning. It's about seven o'clock. And I'm coming to see the results from the pepper. And it looks like they've been eating, but doesn't look too bad. That one, remember, this one was already my lawn for the kids this one was already kind of getting a little transplant shock but look at this one he ate a little bit you can see a little remnants <laughs> that little sucker that little sucker ate and I guess he was so 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 who is hot Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> Ooh, look at the back of that leaf. Oh, he ain't want nothing to do with that leaf. Oh, man. So, what I'm trying to do is, I need to plant out the rest of these beds. But if I put all those transplants out, before I discourage them from coming into this garden, they're going to eat me alive. So, this is, this is like a discouragement process that I'm going to wait maybe about a week or so to really really let them know everything over here is spicy and they're not going to want to deal with that 
stay in the woods stay out there in the woods eat your stuff out there find you some grass like you're supposed to and leave my garden alone this is the grow family network signing off saying spicy collards on the menu peace grow grow grow